Uh, next up, another one that was big at Gen Con, unveiled mm -hmm. by Arcane Wonders, their newest dice tower essential mm -hmm. called Viral. This is essentially an area control game. We are all playing as different viruses in a guy or girl's body. <laughs> We're in some form of a human body. We don't know. That's <laughs> yeah. all we know. The map is various organs, mm -hmm. and you are placing your viruses in those organs, and you're trying to get control of them. Essentially, that's the idea of the game. Uh, and you want to have more than everybody else. Obviously, it's competitive. So uh, there's also, the, in the way that your actions work, is somewhat interesting. It reminded us of BattleCon, if you're familiar with that. Right. I was where, trying to think right now what the game was. Where uh, if you have action cards that you will be playing. and As well as locations. As well as locations. And each turn you play one of each. So your action, sometimes, the, the card will have multiple actions on it. But if the actions are in blue, they have to happen in the location you specified. For example, if you play the brain card with, I think one of the card was like, multiply. It may have two blue arrows that signify putting new pieces down, and then a third one that was white that's an arrow that lets you move anywhere. The idea being you can only place in the brain, but then you can move a virus anywhere. Right. So there's lots of different actions like that. It's basically move, uh, add pieces to the board, and attack are the right. big ones. And you choose two pairs a turn. Mm -hmm. But once you do, uh, for that round is done, those cards go away. You can't use them next turn. Or right. Round. Un yeah, until, until the following round, then you get them back. So it becomes a cycle of what do you, and you can see what your opponent eats, what you have left. Right. So, like, you'll know, oh, if I really need to get into that brain, I know he already played his brain cards, so maybe I don't have to worry as much about exactly. him going there. Exactly. But there'll also be events going on, like if they're smoking all of a sudden, <laughs> which means more points are scored in the lung or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Very, very, has a, definitely has a sense of humor and the art style in those event cards. Uh, it's and of very course, you can get very str more stronger action cards like ones that let you absorb guys for a turn or do more attacks and whatnot. Yeah. But, uh, overall, it, it was a lot of fun. It definitely is was really fun to sort of think about how can you get more points or absorb things more than other people. Yeah, I, I, I liked it. Uh, it's, it's a very, um, it's a little busy. It has a lot going on that I think, at least on a first playthrough, was kind of not that it was difficult to learn, just that like it's an area control game and you're doing this thing with the action cards and the way that you're attacking and following these these charts. It kind of feels like like a like they tried to do a lot of things with it, which is cool. I respect that that, but may, maybe it was overwhelmed me a little bit for, for my first playthrough. Um, also, it was kind of late when we were playing. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of tired. I was... um, but but I did overall find it fun. I I, w I would say this is. I'd probably put this at the bottom of the essentials that we've played at least so far. All right, we've played Sheriff. Sheriff, Speechless, and Onitama, I believe, are the right. three that we've played. Of the, those four games, I, this is the one I would be most hesitant to actually call essential. I think it's, well, it's not as unique as those other games. Well, I, I, I understand what you're saying, that, but I think it's an essential in the sense that like, this is your party game, this is your territory game kind of deal. This is your two, like, I, guess. I think it fits in that way. Mm -hmm. And I think it did have a lot of fun with the interesting mechanics of, like, it looks like you're helping your opponent by saving his viruses, but really you're scoring more points and stuff like that. But I can definitely see how you're saying it because I like Sheriff and stuff. Yeah. But I do think it was. For, for if that's what they're going for, I, I get that. I just felt like um, there are definitely better area control games, whereas Sheriff is a really great party game. You know what I mean? Like, that's... Uh, like and speechless is like well it's like charades basically so it's essential because it's so basic almost I don't know it's just a label but it's something interesting to think about but but still I did find the game fun and I do want to try it again there's there's different uh, you know there's also also like a drafting comp or I guess not really drafting component but. Uh, you get a deck building, I guess. It's like a, a hand management. Yeah, well, because you do add new cards to your hand, so mm -hmm. that there's different, lots of different strategies that could come out of that too. Yeah. Uh, so we want to try that. So check out Viral if that sounds cool to you. If you enjoyed this video, it was just a snippet of our full-length podcast, which you can find on our YouTube channel every week. So please go ahead, like, and subscribe for more board game-related content coming at you in the future. And don't forget to check out RollForCrate.com, where we actually sell a lot of the games we talked about, as well as post news and all our other videos. Until then, I'm Will Keeler. I'm Jonathan Estes, and this is Roll for Crit.